Hi, this is a quick water kefir tutorial. I'm Amanda Rose in the Sequoia National Forest. I have been making water kefir drinks for five years now, since 2006. And actually back then, kefir grains, water kefir grains were not available in the United States. And someone I knew bought them from Germany and had them shipped to her. She got them reproducing in her kitchen and shipped them to me. And then we proceeded to share them with all these ladies at the mothering.com message boards. And so I like to think that a lot of the water kefir grains out there started right there at mothering and all of our sharing. So we've had a lot of experience with water kefir. And you know, a good thing to keep in mind, it is so, um, th these grains are so resilient and people worry that, you know, they've done something wrong. Um, you know, you can do a lot to these things and, and, and they can recover. But I just wanna share my very simple method. And wh what this is, this is a sugar water solution. Earlier today, I put in a few tablespoons of, of regular white sugar, actually. You can use um, basically any kind of sugar, but a cane sugar is going to be the best bet for kefir grains. And um, some water, hot water, so that it would dissolve. And I went about my way. And now I have lukewarm water here, water that's not going to kill the kefir grains. That's the one thing you want to do is not add them to boiling water. And so this is my warm water. And here we have um, the kefir grains. This is, this is I use a two-step fermentation process for kefir grains. And um, here I have grains in the bottom of sugar water from yesterday. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour off the water into another jar. And actually, I'm running out of jars, so I'll just pour it into a gallon jar at this point. I love these plastic strainers for this purpose. It works really well with water kefir, not so much with dairy kefir. But I simply pour this off. Now, the way to think about this is this is... This has been inoculated, essentially. This is ready to turn into a drink of your choice. The grains are in the strainer and I'm just going to put them back in here. Now if you don't have one of these, what you can do, I've, I've done it before where I just pour it off and you know a few little grains might get into, into this one, but for the most part you can pour it off till there's just a little bit of water in and then go ahead and add your fresh sugar water and actually it's still a little warm um, and I this is like a very concentrated sugar water which is what I usually do because then it will cool off faster but I'm going to add some cold water to the grains first and then the sugar water and so that'll be that and actually I don't want a gallon jar sitting on my countertop when it's not really necessary so I'm going to just pour this back in here You can see the bubbles in this. Oh, this is fantastic, but you know what? I'm gonna pour it back because I'm already realizing there's not enough room for the fruit juice. Because what I'm gonna to do to this is I'm gonna add a fruit juice to this and it will culture that fruit juice. Now, think about it. You can put in a pomegranate juice. You can put in, I, I love, that is the most fizzy juice in my experience, as are some of the dark juices like cherry juice. They end up very fizzy, even if you don't have an airlock. So that's pretty exciting. Now, what I have is a couple of orange concoctions I've made over this week. And this one actually is about five days old and it was so sweet. The amount of sugar in this <laughs> was way too much. And so I tasted it on about day two and I thought, oh my God, this is gonna take two weeks to ferment because what happens, it will continue to, to eat up the sugar and if there's a lot of sugar in it to start, you'll actually get more of an alcoholic kefir. And I haven't tasted it. I was shocked at the sweetness. Now I'm shocked at the alcoholic nature of this. Another day, this will be quite something. But what you can do is really play with the amount of sugar and play with the amount of juice. Play with your fermentation time. That's going to vary on the season and the heat in your kitchen. But it's a lot of fun. You're going to get a lot of flavors out of this. No one will be alike. <laughs> But it is a lot of fun to try, and it is really that simple. You can find water kefir grains online and uh, start doing this yourself.